everybody to another episode of the movie Social. I'm your host Ricky and Stephan your co-host. And so tonight we're going to talk about episode two of the Snowpiercer, which airs Sundays at nine on TNT. So episode two started off kind of a uh, wow. Don't you agree? One hundred percent. Definitely agree that it did start off very, very, very interesting. Like, I was wondering when they were going to tie in certain punishments based off of from what was in the movies, and they delivered it Sunday. I'm gonna just let y'all know we're we're getting into some spoilers too. So, I mean, if you want to watch the show and then come back and watch us, pause this right now and watch it. Uh, without that, we're getting in. All right, so. Freezing of the hand, arms. Punishment. That's rough. I don't know. The pain of having your arm frozen and then cutting it, chopping it off. Or the aftermath of pulling out the bone pieces that were like out there hanging. The fragments and then pulling stuff out. Or having your daughter see it. It would have to be the whole... Because, okay. It would have to be the freezing process because it happens so fast and your adrenaline is going that I'm pretty sure that's the most painful part. The whole them taking, like, smashing it, you don't feel it because it's frozen. But, I mean, up here ain't frozen, so I don't know. No, the only thing that wasn't frozen, like, I, I get it, like, they did it this way, like, yeah, it, it was, it was, like, she had no feeling. Bless you. The nurse was dead. Um, there was no blood rushing to it. The bone was 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 dead. So when they smashed it, she I'm pretty sure she didn't feel the most painful is gonna be two things. One, the process of it being frozen. And then the second part is gonna be the most part painful part is the recovery of it. That whole process of it being smashed, she didn't feel that. True. I mean, hey, still, that was a good opening. Yes, I agree. And then our boy Andre. What can I say, man? Gets to go back to his ex, even though I I kind of question that one. I mean, he wanted some, he got some, but. She left you, I don't know. I mean, she left him at a vulnerable moment. They stuck back there in the tail, and you just going up and leave him just to get to third class. Like, so when it comes to their relationship at this very point in time, you, you're getting bits and pieces of their relationship. You're not getting exactly what happened, what occurred, and so forth. You're getting bits and pieces. Just but smashed. So yeah, as I was saying, like all he did, like their their relationship is is bits and pieces. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, all he did was smash. It was it? I mean, he keeps saying he's gonna go back to the tell no matter what, but I don't know. He already proves he already has a soft spot for her. So, I mean, I, yeah, they were together before the world. I mean, he was married. Yeah. So, I mean, if you think about it in this situation, right? You've been with Jazz for God knows how long. If something was like that happened and you see Jazz around, you still would have a soft spot for Jazz? First of all, you leave me during this type of situation. We, I made sure we got on that train. I got us there. Got us on the train. And then you going to leave me because things got rough in the back? Some nah. people are for it. Some people aren't. We, we not? No. Nah. We're the last surviving people. And then on top of that, you're going to tell me that you were going to accept the rig lottery to have a child with this dude before he was murdered? Nah. But let's talk about that next. Um, the crime. That crime is becoming very serious. And the fact that they found the different body parts in the meat freezer. That's that's a whole that's a whole topic right here, because first of all, they uncovered cannibalism mm -hmm. on multiple levels, and then 
come to find out he's a snitch for Warfare mm-hmm. Industries, basically. Mm-hmm. And possibly could be the reason why he was killed. Gotta wait to find out that part if that remains to be true. But starting to uh, get deep into all these lies and mysteries within the first class, second class, Wolfer Industries, and third class, and Tales. It's kind of uh, culminating a great show. So this is what I'm going to do, okay? I want you to mark it. What's today? The 25th of May. My, what's the word I'm looking for? My prediction of what's going on so far, of how this is going to end. I could be totally wrong, but this is just my prediction. He was killed because he found out that Mr. Wilford is not Mr. Wilford. I and thought about he was that too. Threatening to tell, and that Mr. Wilford, we all know it is low key guy. Oh yeah, let's get him. Let's 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 eliminate him or whatever the case may be. So it's gonna be like, oh, she is the one who put out the hit on him, but wanted to make it seem like she's actually doing the work to find the, to find the, uh, the real killer when actually she was behind it, all, everything. Because there is no Mr. Wilford as we already know. Yeah, but so I mean, that's my prediction. It was her all along. I see. I don't see that coming out because why do the investigation? Especially when you know he's a bloodhound for this type of stuff. Well, the reason why you do the investigation because, okay, we do the investigation, you're making it seem as if, all right, I'm going to have Andre look for the killer to make it seem like, you know, to try to distance myself from it. You know, because again, if, if, for example, if you think about it, if the person, like, if she was behind it and she didn't want nobody to find out, you know, you would do something like this. But if you just didn't care, then you wouldn't even go through all this, this process. She wants to make him look his order and, and, and like some type of um, structure there, which is why she's doing this whole investigation. But I mean, again, I could See, be totally wrong. It's just my thought process. Yeah. What I think, the, what I think he was killed really for was he found out more about stuff going on with the people inside the uh, bent, inside the uh, cabinets. Everybody that's been committing a crime, been put in the uh, cabinets with whatever serum that they're using. I think it's more to it because the doctor seems a little shady about his, the whole research and everything else about it, especially when they were trying to work the uh, other chick up who originally was the one charged with the first murder. And I think that is a bit deeper in that. And I think that's what got him killed. I mean... Never know, but I mean, we gotta wait to see what happens. All right, right. that's a good, that's a good idea. That's a good uh, projection there. Let's move on back to that uh, meat freezer in the uh, cattle area. Whew, that episode, avalanche from the earthquake. It wasn't an earthquake. It was just an avalanche. No, but it created it like an earthquake seismic activity. That's what yeah, we freezing on the John. Uh, because she didn't want to. They told her to, to slow down, but she didn't want to slow down. And, Reminds you of anything? What do you mean? Titanic. Oh. I okay, hated that. Down, go faster. Hit the iceberg. Luckily this time, they made it through. All that's not on ice. Barely. But at a major price. Oh, and they better keep them cattle. But then again, they frozen. Like completely frozen solid. Yeah, their meat is no good. Got to go and repair it. That's that's like freezer burn times ten. But god damn, the way they started freezing quickly, I was like, yeah, yeah. that's not actually quick. But the crazy part about it is because if you look at the uh, foreshadowing of the video of the, of the show, um, they froze the girl's arms. This is what I was a little confused because they they froze the girl's arm. It froze right, but it didn't freeze. Like it froze pretty quickly. The people froze just as fast. So I wonder what's the whole process of putting water on her arm? Was it to make it painful? Because it seemed like they was in pain too when they froze. That's what I mean. I think they try to make it maximize the pain and maximize it being frozen. Okay. But I mean, I could be wrong. 
Gotta wait to see on that part. But now that they grab the kids to be apprentices, it's gonna be interesting how that plays out too. Because mm-hmm. you know, in the movie, when they came and snatched the kids from the tail, they put them in the engine to run the, the actual train because certain parts they couldn't get anymore. So the kids actually had to manually turn and keep the engine going to do stuff in the movie. Okay. So, they said they go into the uh, meat farm and area and the, the meat locker and all that. God would see if that comes true. That's going to be interesting. And now we see more of an issue with first class bickering and debating. That's going to be something to watch later on in the series to see how first class starts uh, acting towards everything. I agree. It's definitely like the first class. I see that there's a lot of people in the first class who have a lot of motives. Well, I mean, most rich people do. I like, have a lot of bad motives. Um, and it, it's just off putting. But I mean, that's just how society is. But like, they're, they're, they're very snobby. Like, they're very stuck up about the whole. Thing. But I mean. Yeah. And I don't think they all like each other either. Most of them don't, I don't think. That's just my opinion. Yeah. We'll see. But, all right, so, in the final closing portions for this, got to discuss Andre's attempt to give a map of different train cars to some of the tellies and taking a major beating in the process. Yeah. And... They still never fully show whether or not the dude actually got the paper or not. Or a cloth. Mm-hmm. Cause he tried to bend down, guard grabbed him and held him in check. I mean, if he didn't get that paper, how pissed I would be. I'm not even Andre. But if I was like, I'd be really pissed. Took a Back. major beating. Cuts all over my body. I'm bloody. Looks like I just got a, out of a WWE match or something. I whole, I wholeheartedly agree with that. If he did not get that cloth with the little map and all the information, I would be pissed beyond belief. Like, dude, by all means, get that information. Yeah. And I will say this, too. The uh, other cop she uh starting to come around a bit. Agree. Eventually change and pr- help the tellies. I agree. The other guy, I, I don't, I don't like that. Guy. Yo, ho, ho. see, I'm not gonna talk yeah. about it. But, yeah. That scene, I, I was not expecting that, like at all. I was like, okay, wasn't expecting, man. No, I wasn't. So this is the only thing I'm gonna say about it, you know. As a man to want another guy to do that to you, regardless of how you see it as disrespect or you making him do something that you want. That's just off-putting to me. But, yeah, that was that was wild. But I know why he did it. He did it for the medicine and all. No, no, no I'm not talking about the guy. No, no, I know what you're talking about, but I'm just saying, I know he did it just to get the medicine. But yeah, even if it was for the medicine, if I'm the, if I'm the guy for the tail, I'm, Mama, I love you. Uh, he had to do. He had to get the medicine, get the book. I mean, some kind of uh, exchange had to be done. Yeah, well, if it was me, Mama, I love you. I mean, but that's not. Outside. You never know what might what can happen for somebody. First of all, they've been stuck in the tail for six years. And all right, that brings up this last little segment real quick for that, because it finally introduced the drugs onto the train that they had in the movie. So you see the little black piece of uh, material that they put on the grounds? That's mm-hmm. the same type of drugs that they had on the uh, movie that they gave one of the people that was uh, locked inside of uh, the cabins to okay. actually help them open up the train doors in the movie. It's supposed to be like a little hallucinogenic and all that type of other stuff at the same time. Okay. Like, Lily mellows them out like LSD, some something like that. But I cannot wait till next week's episode. And I hope everybody that's watching 
continues to follow us and watch us next week as we discuss episode three of Snowpiercer. And as always, let us know what y'all thought about the show and about our show in the comments. Like us and subscribe. And then turn on your notifications. And we'll be back for more soon. Have a good day.